Well, what's going on guys? Hope this game is but we're working on it. My name's Jamie, this is Jacob. And today we are doing our part four, which is going to be our final part of the series so far, um, probably until we find out about more of the gameplay uh, for our Biospike series uh, in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. We're going to start this match by trying to get an example of what we're talking about in this episode, which is feeding, yeah, uh, which feeding, has dramatically changed. It's changed a bunch, and everyone's talking about it. Um, missed. Dude, that was it too. So basically there, <laughs> had I thrown, or Jacob thrown, and hit one of those guys in the flag, we would have got a triple kill. That's right. Simple so as that. And it would have been a triple a triple throwing knife, because it comes up in the feed as a triple bio spike kill. And that's causing a lot of... Uh, a lot of controversy, but at the same time, it's I don't know, it's just different. So we do have a couple of examples of uh, these kills, and I just got a perfect example then of what happens if you're trying to feed in close quarters, and that is you explode. Another thing that I want to touch on when we're talking about feeding here is that if you hit another player as well with your bio spike, that's going to make him explode. And if I grab that off him and do it close enough, that's going to kill me. Ridiculous! <laughs> so that, as a, as a little tip, this, this episode wasn't going to be so much of a tutorial as it is a discussion about how the new feeding works, whether you guys like it or not, and what you see happening in the future with it. That could change a lot of things, because essentially you can just throw at anything, and as long as it's a person and explodes, you could get a triple quad. Uh, we've got a few examples of, like on the montage we got the other day, I got a triple, and then got a second triple that was almost a quad, but for some reason didn't allow me to get all four kills. The, the main problem everyone's obviously getting quite upset about is the fact that it's not a triple, it's just a grenade it's kill. It's a single kill, yeah. But, I mean, we're, we're kind of seeing a more of an exciting prospect, whereas uh, a couple of times, you know, you can throw like a long distance kill and get a double, which is exciting, and it like, increases your score streaks and things like that. But then, obviously, it's taken away from the skill of getting like a close quarters quad feed, which we totally get. Like, it's we understand. It's just the way Call of Duty's moved in this in this particular game, and I think everyone's getting a little bit a little bit overwhelmed by it. But I, I think everyone needs to just relax, and it's it's not really a big deal. It's kind of cool. It's just something different. That's right. So hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Uh, we've enjoyed it so far throughout our time playing the Inf Infinite Warfare beta. They may change things. They might change the radius of the explosion. They might not. Uh, um, we don't know yet if there's any perks. Uh, I think it was proven that Blast Shield actually doesn't change the fact that you blow up uh, in a close quarters throwing knife kill. Like if I kill someone from a close distance and, and uh, I get killed from that explosion, I don't think Blast Shield does much. So um, yeah, they might buff that, they might change it. Um, but yeah, just the things to think about is uh, when you're feeding, you want to <laughs> try and stay probably five meters away from the person if it's possible. Um, and also, <laughs> there you go. Example there. There's a nice double kill. Um, and also the fact that you can get multiple kills off the one uh, throw knife and also stay away from your friends when you're throwing because you will blow up. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. so, get into the game, feeding or not, uh, there's some cool kills that you can get. Hopefully you get some with the tips that we've given you for this series. We're also doing a top five secret tips um, for just gen general gameplay, so that's not just Biospike related content. And if you want to sort of improve your gameplay a little bit, they may be, if you're a veteran of Call of Duty, they may be obvious to you, but for players who this might be their first Call of Duty game, or if it's their first space-related one, there are some tips in there that also are due to that. So hopefully you enjoy those. If you enjoyed the video, uh, there's a button for that. Otherwise, we'll always be hopeless, and we'll see you on the next one. See ya!